So I think India is now finally becoming very. Uh, uh, I think I think they've started finally started catering to what actually is the need of the hour. Uh, the point of sustainability, point of just purely uh, the the need of biophilic design, the point uh, the the part where India now needs to start uh, becoming inclusive. Is something that is that they've started doing now. That's something I think India started now getting exposed to and now accepting to it. So I think that's that's the beginning of the whole uh, setup. I think back in the day, uh, India was extremely uh, just uh, very very uh, reciprocative of the urban design, which was catering to places like Rajasthan or Marathwara. Like if you go into the interior scopes of, uh, scopes of spaces, and places over there were primarily designed. For the for the climate, for the for the the population over there, for the temperatures over there, which I think in the middle, I think India had kind of lost the plot with purely growing population and just just kind of advising and getting to that part. I think today people have started becoming more, uh, uh, you know, more uh, what's the word? They start caring about what's happening around in the future, uh, in 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 and around them. Uh, I think COVID changed a big part of this whole story, and I think people have now understood the need of space and the need of an urban planning and the need of an urban design around them, which makes the space primarily cater to themselves, also make it very very sustainable for them in the in the future. Sustainable doesn't always mean about putting a green plant, but it's also about uh, a better living, a better uh, quality of living, better quality of life, uh, getting a natural light into their space. Like these are things which now people have started bothering about. Uh, getting green spaces in, getting enough oxygen for themselves. So I think that uh, spending more time out, uh, walking, moving, traveling, just to make sure that they get a kind of a glimpse of what's happening outside as well. So I think I think the urban design scenario in in our country is, is changing a lot in that form. So I think uh, we do not uh, believe in a, 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 the, that you need to be up to the day, up to date to what the rapid changing industry is, but it's about being true to what you're looking at, true to being. What the what the client as well as the space requires, and I think that's something that we that's always been our forte. We've been very adaptable to the uh, adaptive to the spaces as well as the clients that we've worked with. Uh, I think, and that's something that uh, works in the future for everybody. Uh, travel is something that really gets a lot of our for us in terms of our day to day life, because I think travel is something that exposes you to what's happening around, uh, and and primarily a lot of the Western world has also been very, very uh, well designed in terms of their urban setup. So I think that's something which we're adapting to the today's time and we're actually working on that front. So I think today life is changing as such. So it basically for us to just keep up with what's happening around, I think travel is one of the most important things for us. I think that's where we kind of set up. Today.